What's going on everybody? I'm Akeem Lawanson and in today's fix, how a stuck boat might have caused the delay of the analog pocket, Call of Duty Warzone leakers are getting taken down, and a new teleconference game is coming to a Zoom meeting near you. Because it's April. Let's do this. The wait to breathe new life into your ancient Game Boy cartridges might be even longer than you thought. As the company behind the modernized handheld gaming device, the Analog Pocket, announced a recent delay. Now, due to ongoing electronic components being in short supply because of COVID-19, manufacturing on the little guy has been impacted. And it's an issue affecting many companies on a global scale, not just the games industry. But there was another reason the company Analog cited, and that was logistical issues. Now, they didn't go into detail, but they did link to this Tasty Forbes article about how the ever-loving, ever-given got stuck in the Suez Canal for six days last week, which blocked over 370 ships from keeping supplies moving. Now, though many of the supply chain issues the article cited have been going on for some time now, the 1,300-ton boat chilling in the canal definitely didn't help things moving along because things couldn't move. I mean, they couldn't, it was stuck. The article posits that the Ever Givens blockage might have lasting effects that we'll see across the next four to eight months. So while I wouldn't necessarily point any fingers, I will say, ahoy there, and uh, dar she blows, which is sailor talk for I'm gonna blame the Ever Given for, for the delay. Sorry, gotta put y'all on blast. Now the sleek and sexy analog pocket will allow you to play all of your favorite Game Boy, Game Boy Color, and Game Boy Advance games. When they, you can finally get your hands on it come October. Activision just issued a DMCA takedown on Twitter aimed at a video game news outlet that covered one of their leaked maps from Call of Duty Warzone. The Twitter account of the website Video Games Chronicle was hit with the DMCA notice, which resulted in their account being temporarily locked and the tweet in question being wiped from the website. But it's the internet, you know, so it's never really gone once it's posted. And y'all already know we're not about to cut to footage of it because, you know, we, we don't want to get a DMCA takedown ourselves. So I guess the system works. Shout outs. VGC Editor-in-Chief Andy Robinson came out to make it clear that the tweets in question didn't contain Twitter-hosted images of the leaked material. In fact, Robinson confirmed with us here at IGN that the image was from the existing game, not the leaks. VGC's coverage on their site only included instances of leaked material as embeds from other sites like Reddit, so nothing was posted natively to their site. Now, oddly enough, those images on third-party sites are still up. I don't know what's up with that, man. It's, that's kind of weird. Now, Activision has since reached out to Robinson in an attempt to resolve the issue. The leaks came from a live action trailer of a new totally 80s Warzone map shared on social media by a Twitter user on thin ice who was obviously on thin ice with Activision as they had it promptly taken down. Once it's out there though, it's out there. It's the internet, that's how it works. The footage has since been shared on both Reddit and YouTube. Finally, we're all spending a lot more time at home, which means we're also gaming a lot more. So it makes some kind of crazy sense for a service like Zoom to try to get in on the action. A brand spanking new video game based on the teleconference service just dropped today called Zoom Royale. The first ever VOIP battle royale game of its kind, Zoom Royale is all about being the last one standing as your opponents are picked off by common video chat gaffes. 100 people enter and battle it out to be the last one standing. I mean, it sounds cool. You know, you should definitely check out the trailer. Sounds super duper dope. I think it's fake though. I wasn't sure until I saw myself towards the end there. I, I was literally on that call for like 20 minutes. It's a good one, IGN. Not, not only did you fool the internet, but, but you fooled me. And I was a part of it. I work here. I do, right? Okay, just making sure. I gotta make sure. And that was your daily fix for April 1st. I'm Akeem Lawanson, and now that you're all caught up on the news, go check out the Zoom Royale trailer. It's a really funny video, and I'm sure we can all relate to some, if not all, of the things in that video. Download the IGN app on all your mobile devices, subscribe to The Daily Fix on Snapchat, and for all things everything else, keep it right here on IGN.